This is Vivian, and today is, what is today? <laughs> Monday, again. Um, and I know, I know, I know, I know. I did not upload a video yesterday. D no excuses, just didn't happen. Um, I thought I did, but I, I didn't, I realized uh, at 10 o'clock, that I hadn't done my video for the day. And I was like, oh my God, I didn't do my video. Oh my God. <laughs> so I apologize, but I'm back. I'm back in living color. Woo. All right. So anyway, the last time we talked, <laughs> it was on the power of self-compassion. And, you know, for me, Compassion is the higher form of self-love. You know, if you can have compassion for yourself and love yourself, then everything else can just kind of fall into place. You think? All right. So tonight, we, <laughs> another exercise. Oh, my God. Yep. She does this a lot in this book, right? So more homework for you but it's good homework. And so I'm going to read this and then we'll get into it. Now it, it'll all make sense in a second. Okay. List five songs that make you wildly happy. Do not judge what the songs are. Simply write them down. Set aside 10 minutes a week, a week and dance to them. Don't worry about who might watch you. Move your hips and smile. Give it a try and notice how it makes you feel. It's very difficult to dance and be miserable at the same time. I promise. <laughs> you know, I think I have made this promise to you guys before as well. It is, it is inherently different to smile or difficult, did I say different? I said different. Difficult to smile, dance, and be miserable at the same time. It is just almost impossible. If you're smiling, genuine smile, not, not that, mm, <laughs> that kind of smile. No, that's not gonna work. I mean, cheesy, ear to ear, joyous kind of smile the kind of smile you get when you dance, right? So if you can dance and uh, jump up and down for 10 minutes, it said a week. Now, I like to do it per day <laughs> because it is so helpful when, especially in, in, in when you're doing business right? You got to have a stress reliever. You got to have something to uh, keep you motivated during the day because sometimes not everything you put out there is going to be productive. I mean, well, it'll be productive to you in your head, but then at, at the end of the day, when you look, go back and look at your stats, it's like, mm, nope, <laughs> that didn't work. So I got to try something else. But it can be a little, it can be a downer sometimes. And when that happens, get up and dance. I don't care if it's like five minutes. Just try, try five minutes. Try two minutes, actually. So 10 minutes a week is equal to two minutes a day if you're talking about the work week. The work week is Monday through Friday, right? So if you're talking two, just two minutes a day, to get up and find one of your favorite songs to dance to and just dance. It doesn't have to be like, like wild dancing or the latest dance moves or anything like that. Just dance. The thing about dancing, at least for me, 
I used to go when I was younger. My friends used to come and get me because I was not a club person. I didn't, even in my younger days, I was in my 20s, right? But my friends used to just like come and drag me out of the house and come, girl, we're going to the club. I'm like, mm, okay. But when I got there, even though I didn't drink, I didn't do any of that, I loved to dance because it was, that was my, that was my alcohol, you know, <laughs> because dancing just, it, it, it gets all in your soul when you dancing and you just moving freely and everything's going, you know, so try dancing, try whenever you, um, have, uh, issues <laughs> and you're dancing you forget all about all of that stuff. At least I do, personally, because I just love dancing. And if you, your body has to move as well, you can't, you can't like sit sedentary. We weren't, we're not sedentary creatures. We weren't made to be that way. We have to get up and move or, or we'll get stiff and, you know, we get atrophy and all that. We don't want to go that route because... Getting atrophy requires you to be sedentary for a long time before it actually you start atrophying. But think about what makes you ecstatically happy. Whatever that is. I mean, I know that sometimes um, maybe dancing is not it for you. Maybe, maybe that's not your thing. But this is this exercise. This is movement and dance. So if if you get even if you just get up and, and do some exercises, just stretch and move around and do some push-ups or or you know, if you don't want to do push-ups on the floor, do them on the wall or or something to get your body moving. Walking, you know, I've been doing the walking. And so uh whatever makes you ecstatically happy. Do that for at least two minutes a day. Get up off out of your chair. So I have to get up out of my out of my uh, computer chair, out of my desk chair, and get up and dance. Turn on your music and dance. So you really you really need to think about. Just think about what makes you happy. Now, I wouldn't suggest, I mean, sometimes, you know, food makes people happy, but in this COVID environment, you're all stuck in the house and you just eat and eat and eat. Don't do that. <laughs> get, get out of the house and get moving. That No, moving the mouth while you're chewing, that's not the movement I'm talking about. <laughs> so get out. I mean, just get up and turn on a song, whatever song, like, I want to play this song, but I'm not sure uh, 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 YouTube is going to let me. But if you play this song, hold on. I'm going to see if I can play this song for a second uh, and just go in here and say, Ooh, because I'm... you know the song Happy by um, Pharrell? I'm doing a disclaimer, YouTube. I don't own the rights to this song. I'm just going to play like a second of it. I'm not really going to play the whole thing. But I want you to hear it because, or at least, this is one of the songs that makes me happy. Oh, that's the wrong, that's the wrong song. I, why did that play? I put on happy, it played it. But that was a good song too as well. But I mean who doesn't love that song? Right? And I'm gonna stop playing it because I don't want to play the whole thing and then YouTube says, Oh well, you know, you can't play that song. But you know what? I love that song. I should probably just incorporate it into my video. <laughs> you know, because I love that song because it, it just it just makes you want to dance. 
I mean, you can't, I, I, I don't know of anybody that can listen to that song and not even just start moving your shoulders, you know, it's like, you know, that kind of thing. So I put a list of the songs that make me just want to get up and dance. And so when you go, when you look down below, you'll see them like happy is like the first one. And then giving you the best that I got now, I, you don't like dance, dance, um, you know, kind of move this kind of dance, but I love Anita Baker. I love everything she sings. Every, I mean, just love her voice. I love the way she presents it and her voice just never changes. I went to a concert a couple of years ago uh, where she was at Jazz in the Gardens in um, Baltimore, Maryland. And it was phenomenal. She just, I mean, she never sounds any different. She sounds like she sounds on her records. She said, I mean, and age just hasn't done anything. It's just, she's it's the same beautiful voice. So I just love her music. And this uh, song called Smile by Kirk Franklin and God's Property awesome song and you can move to it you know just because it's a gospel song does not mean you can't get up and dance because we are uh supposed to praise and worship and dance for god so you know it's just because it's a gospel song doesn't mean you can't now this next song alabaster box no you're not gonna you know, be doing any any kind of you know strenuous movement but I love the song. It makes me smile. It makes me happy. And it's a beautiful song. So try, you know, look it up. You'll, you'll, find, you'll see what I mean. And the next two songs are by Bruno Mars. I love this young man because it seems like everything he sings is like really upbeat and fun, you know. And the two that I like that, uh, the most is Uptown Funk and Finesse. I love that finesse one because um, Cardi B, Cardi B does the the rapping part, and it's just it's just a fun song, and you have to I mean you have to get up and dance to it. It's just one of those kind of songs. Now you're pro probably saying she's dancing the gospel music. Well, yeah, we we, we look when the church I grew up in. You probably would have been shocked, you know, because. I grew up in a Pentecostal church, so it was, we had lots of music in, in that church, and, you know, people get up and they move, and moving is just dance. People associate dance with a bad thing, you know, some people associate dance with a bad thing, but it's not a bad thing, it's just moving your body. Just move your body, because your body needs movement, and with that movement brings those, the you know, stimulates your endorphins and makes you uh, stimulate those happiness quotients in, in your brain so that you are more alive. You know, we're, we're supposed to move. You know, we weren't made to just sit around. It's like, you know, like bumps on a log. That's not what we're here for, you know. Um, another thing that I like, um, I do exercises in the morning and sometimes I walk and sometimes I do my total gym and sometimes I do bicycle. But when I do my aerobic exercises, I love this thing called body groove. I mean, type it, type it into the search engine on YouTube. There, this thing is like, uh, because it just moves your body. It's just all about body movement. And even though she's, you know, instructing you to do certain moves, she wants you to do it the way you do it. You know, however you do it is it, it, no no wrong way to do it, you know, because it's just getting your blood pumping and getting your body moving. And it's fun because sometimes it's funny too. If you just watch some of her vid videos and she's just moving around, and but at the end, you're kind of sore because you, you've actually had a workout and it's beautiful to um, get a workout while you're dancing. Isn't that amazing? And you can do, because they have uh, like four and five minutes uh, videos you can like come you know string them along and do like a 30 minute workout 
or string them along and do an hour long workout, but they're all like four and five minutes a piece. But it's great. Uh, if you haven't done any aerobic exercise in the morning, try that because it, it just really stimulates your body. And like I said, you want to take a break from work? Try one of those videos. It's only like five minutes. Try it, and, or four or five minutes. Some of them are four minutes, some of them are five minutes. But try it and, and do that for your break instead of just sitting around and eating lunch or whatever or dinner or whatever, whenever you take your break. Now, in the book, it says, uh, smile and move your hips. You know, just get up and if it feels good to dance and smile while you're doing it, you're like, mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. And just smile. Do, do the cheesy grin, you know, because nobody's watching. Or maybe somebody is watching and you just get them, get them involved. Come, you know, you can't be sad and smile at the same time. You just can't. <laughs> I mean, a genuine smile. I don't mean, you know, that half-hearted smile. I mean a really genuine smile. And I suggest that sometimes while you're dancing that you actually do a big belly laugh. I mean, just break out and start laughing. And I, it just, and that's why I really love that finesse song that by um, Bruno Mars is because it makes me laugh out loud. Not because it's funny, but because it's fun. It's just so much fun. You can't help but move and you just can't help. I mean, even just listen to the words of the song, you know, and just start this is cool. We got that confidence. Good measurements. I don't even know the name, the words to the song. Un unless the song is actually playing, I don't know the words to this song. <laughs> so if if I said it wrong, oh well, it's all good. So um, <laughs> you you really just you know just get up and move. Get up and move and have fun. Because you were meant to move. You were meant to be happy. So bring on your own happiness. You know, we talked about that before. You're responsible for your happiness. Nobody else is. So whatever you, whatever you do to uh, facilitate that, then do that. You know, do it every day. At least, because the book says in the exercise, 10 minutes a week. A week, two minutes a day won't hurt. I promise. I promise you. I promise you. I promise you. Two minutes a day of dancing will whoo, pump you up, like pump, pump, pump you up. <laughs> and so, and it doesn't matter uh, whether you can do the latest dance moves, because I can. Uh, that's not important. That's not the important part. What's important is that you get your blood pumping, you get your body moving, you get your happiness quotient filled to capacity, and so that you feel good all day. You know, uh, one day, one morning, I was not feeling well physically, and I said, you know what, I'm going to get up and I'm just going to dance. And so I turned on a song, that happy song, and I got up and I started dancing, and I actually start feeling better. So... You know, it has dual purpose. Not only does it make you feel happier, but it can make you feel better physically. Right? Moving and happiness kind of go hand in hand because when when that it starts moving your blood and, and you start getting excited, you get happier every single time. I promise. I promise you. Just try it. All right, so that's your homework. 10 minutes a week, at least, or more if you can. <laughs> Move, dance, or whatever makes you ecstatically happy. Do that for at least two minutes a day. Five minutes or 10 minutes a day would be better, but at least two minutes a day, which will make you 10, 10 minutes a, for the work week. Now, if you were to do two minutes a day for the whole week, 
you're talking 14 minutes, a whole 14 minutes. Come on now, you can do that, right? All right, so it's just to make you happy. It's not to make me happy because you don't tell me anyway, <laughs> right? So if you are moving and if you are happy, let me know. Just put, put something down there in the comments and let me know that you are moving and that you are happy and that you are doing this every single day that you you take a break, at least a two minute dance break. You know, when I was teaching, instructing for my job, I used to give dance breaks. <laughs> I tell my students, okay, everybody's falling asleep. Let's get up and have a dance break. And I turn some music on and we just dance. And it didn't matter whether they they thought they could dance or not. It's not it's not a matter of thinking whether or not you can dance. It's movement. It's just getting up and moving. Okay. All right. So I've already pushed that point. So <laughs> I'm gonna go to my gratitudes. Okay. I am thankful for my children and grandchildren. I am thankful for life, health, and strength. I am thankful for the mentors who inspire me every day. I am thankful that today I connected with an amazing soul who I just instantly just bonded with. Uh, I was so at ease with this person. It was just like we were sisters in another life or something. And uh, it, it was just an amazing conversation. I'm thankful that money comes to me easily and effortlessly through multiple sources in increasing quantities on a continuous basis. I am thankful that my business is growing by leaps and bounds. I am thankful for my online and my blood family. I am thankful that I have the opportunity to contribute to feed hungry children through my work, through my uh, business uh, and help those children around the world who need nutritious food. I am thankful that my dreams are coming true. And last but certainly not least, I am thankful for you and your patronage of my channel. So please like, share, subscribe, turn on those notifications, and I'll talk to you later. But just remember, there's some links down below if you want to go and help with your mind and meditation and earning some money online, try the Overnight Millionaire program um, for if you want to connect with like-minded people, entrepreneurs uh, in an environment that has masterminds and all this stuff and to give you some tips on earning multiple sources of income. Bob Proctor's MSI program is that the link is down there. Also, uh, there's the network marketing company that I was just talking about that helps to contribute to feed hungry children. And it's just the easiest, most different network marketing company you have ever seen because we don't sell a thing. We just give and the giving comes back to us. So if you want to know more about it, there's a link down there below. And um, the book, of course, the, the link to the book, um, your positive thinking daily inspiration courage and wisdom is down there and so whichever one of those or all of those that resonate with you the links are down there below for you and take advantage of those opportunities now i wish you guys peace love and i love you so much and i'll talk to you tomorrow have a great one bye bye